In this week's video, you're going to learn a network buzzword that we hear a lot these days. It's multi-tenancy. Hi, this is Kevin Wallace again. Welcome back to the channel. And when I was attending Cisco Live in Las Vegas a couple of months ago, I noticed that there are a lot of buzzwords that vendors throw around or you might hear in some of the presentations. So periodically here on the channel, we're going to have a really short video that's going to define a single buzzword. And this is a buzzword that shows up on the exam blueprint for CompTIA's Network Plus exam. So if you're studying for that exam or you're an IT professional, you'll definitely want to know what multi-tenancy is. And if you like this type of video, please do me a huge favor, click like, subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content, and turn on notifications if you would so you'll be alerted when next week's video comes out. And if you are an IT professional and perhaps studying for a Cisco exam, one of the most common questions I get is, Kevin, how do I get hands-on experience? And to answer that question, I recently wrote a book covering four ways to get hands-on practice for your Cisco exam. And these four ways cover both low-cost and no-cost methods of getting hands-on practice. And if you'd like to get a free PDF of this book, just go to kwtrain.com slash four ways to download that PDF. Again, that's kwtrain.com slash four ways. All right, let's jump into this week's video, which is taken from our Network Plus video training series, defining the network buzzword, multi-tenancy. In this video, we want to define the term multi-tenancy. And I think we can understand this by comparing multi-tenancy in a computing or a networking environment to multi-tenancy within an apartment building. Let's imagine that what we see on screen is an apartment building with multiple tenants. We've got tenants one, two, and three, and additional tenants. And within an apartment building like this, can tenant one just walk into tenant two's apartment? No, that would not be very nice. Tenant three does not have access to the apartment of tenant one, and so forth. Even though they're sharing the same building, they're isolated from one another. And by sharing the same building, they're sharing resources. For example, water is coming into the building. We have electricity coming into the building. We don't have a separate electrical line coming in just for tenant one and another just for tenant two. No, all the tenants share this common electric circuit and all the tenants share the same water pipe coming into the building. It's much the same way with computing and networking environments where we can have a single underlying platform like a server or a router and have multiple tenants share those resources even though they're logically isolated from one another. If we look at a single tenancy example, we have maybe a server with a hypervisor running on it. It could be something like VMware ESXi. And we have different VMs, different virtual machines running on top of that hypervisor. But all these belong to tenant number one. Let's say that we wanted to share those resources, the server hardware and the hypervisor. We want to share those with tenants two and three. Well, that would be a multi-tenancy configuration where we still have the underlying server hardware. We have the hypervisor, like VMware ESXi running on top of that. But then we have isolated from one another different tenants. Tenant one has three VMs running, but on that same underlying hardware platform, tenant two has a single VM and tenant three has a couple of virtual machines running. Now that's an example of a server. We could do something similar with a router. With a router, we could use a feature called VRF, virtual routing and forwarding, which allows us to have different routing tables inside of the router for different tenants. That might be used by a service provider to have a single router maintain routing tables for different customers. They're isolated from one another, but they're sharing the same underlying routing hardware. And the ability to share that underlying software and underlying hardware, that's the main benefit of multi-tenancy. 